Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Hi class, I'm so sorry I cannot come to the class today because uh, I have uh, one another reason I cannot come to your class So yeah, we are going to learn from this online video So in this meeting, we are going to I'm going to teach you about Artswati Class 1 specifically more about the tips i will give you the tips for doing the art project as one so without further ado let's get to the next slide so before i give you the important tips i want to know about i want to give you some information so you know about the information that you have to achieve or com accomplish when you do the the ielts what it does one First is write 150 words within 20 minutes. So just write 150 words within 20 minutes. So make sure you are write the you write with the word that requested. If you want to read more than that, if it's fine, but don't write less than less than 150. So the assessment. The second is about the assessment. There is a uh, four point about the assessment, and each point have twenty percent on the grade. So the first is task achievement. The second is coherence and cohesion. The third is vocabulary. The fourth is grammar. And the third point is about reported on the chart, like bar chart, line graph, pie chart, table, and map. So. Please make sure you can read uh, the chart. Okay, the the point four is our words will be counted and our numbers count as one word. Okay, next is about uh there is some information little information here you have to pay attention more when you do the arts what in does one like the first is data that serve in chart. Okay, it's clear like I said before, the data is will be served or reported on the chart. And I want to you pay attention to the key features like the title, like in the like yeah, you will find in the chart that we that will serve to you. Okay, the third is supporting details like numbers or the fact like the factual data that will serve it on on your in your chart. That's called supporting details. Don't use opinion on the factual report. Okay, when you want to write the IELTS writing task, you, when you want to do the IELTS writing task one, please please make sure every data or every state you every statement that you give is not on based on your opinion that but there is based on factual report or the data that served on the chart. Okay, the last point is word count do not less than requested. We can say before. Uh, Alt plus writing out uh, uh, alt, alt writing task one will request 150 words. If you want to write more than that, it it is fine. But you don't want to write less less than that because it will because it makes your grades more so bad. Yeah. Okay. Next is about the structure. There is uh, the first structure is introduction. Introduction is like you will tell what the the chart is about. So in introduction, will you will explain what the chart is about. Okay, the next structure is the an overview. In overview, it, it's just like an abstract. So you will give the description the about are what. What are you going to write about? Okay, the third structure is body paragraph, and the fourth is body paragraph two, one and two, two and three is body paragraph one, the second is body paragraph second, and the last structure is conclusion. But it is optional if you want to use it's fine, but if you don't want to use it's also fine. Okay. This is the, the important tips that I will give to you. The tips the tips provided can help to gather the data and shape the focus focus on what we will write about, on what you will write about. So, what's the tip? What's the tips? Uh, the tips is SQTR. 
maybe you you are wondering what is SQTR. So actually, SQTR is SQ3R is an reading method. Specifically, specifically, you can use for critical readings. So why it will help help you in writing class one? So basically, when you do the SQTR method you will focus on the sun at on the point that you want to write about so you are you are more gaining focus on, uh, on what you write about like i said before the tips provided can can help to gather data and shape the focus focus so what is sqtr okay the sqtr sqtr is actually an acronym for survey question read decide and review so let's jump to the next slide okay in here i will tell you how to implement sqtr in the writing task one okay the first thing first survey the chart by looking at the comments above the data on the horizontal and vertical lines like i said before look for some key features uh, which is an um, in here i will give uh, the example i give to you use by use google uh, I mean, I'm sorry, use a bar chart in here, the title, the, the first key features that you will find is about the title. <coughs> the, the charts below shows the expenditure of two countries on consumer goods in 2010. Okay, this is the first key features you want to read. This is the first, the title. You want to read the title at first. And then what else? Here. The blue one is for France, and the I think it's orange one is for UK. And if we talk about the expenditure, so there is a factual data in here. Like I said before, <coughs> factual data using numbers to tell the data, and this is also the word cons uh, uh, goods. So here the next key the another key features so i want to you more, uh, look for some key features that provided okay next is make some question <coughs> in here i give you a example question the first question is what goods had the highest expenditure in you in the uk in 2010 and number two which product had the least funding Number three is what was the expenditure on camera, and number four is what was the expenditure on perfume. So when you want to make a question, make sure the question is will will wrap up all the data that you that did you deserve that serve on the in the chart, and also make the question is reliable or or connect with each other like in here i want maybe uh, i want you to think about the question that i write here please uh, i will give you like five seconds to think about it um okay i will give you five seconds from now okay maybe you're wondering why i give you five seconds so based on the question i make here it's clearly i want to make a contrast i will go i will write a, 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 the <coughs> i will write a contrast between uh, go, uh expenditure in uk and france so you can see uh, so i can focus on that i will go to i will write a contrast <coughs> after you make some question read that that it can answer the question and after that start writing okay after make a question let's start writing okay in this is the first structure that i said before an introduction section uh take a look in this pattern i will give uh, I will, i'll give you the different colors so you will read it more <coughs> easier i'm sorry i'm not very well okay 
the pattern is what it is, what it does, what about, where, and when. Uh, maybe you ju you're just too lazy to remember this pattern, okay? I know, I know. I well, me either. I just I I'm too lazy to remember all the patterns. Or when you want to make an introduction section, you can just paraphrase. Para para you just can paraphrase it the title. For example, what it is? It is the chart. It's clear the chart. What it does in the title? Uh, the title is use word shows. Instead, we are using the same words shows. We can paraphrase it into illustrates. And what about in the title? Uh, the chart is going to tell the expenditure of two countries on consumer goods. Okay, just paraphrase it uh, into the amount of money spent. In the title, use the word the expenditure. Uh, in the my writing, use the amount of money spent on the that's that's uh, the that's two word that's the set the two words or the sentence is, uh, have the same meanings on amount of money spent and on consumer goods is uh paraphrased into on five consumer goods. Cars, computers, books, perfume, and cameras. This is optional. You can write the all the all the all the goods or not. It, it's up to you. But more specific is more good. Where it's clear in here is write to countries. You just tell the countries exactly France and the UK and when in two thousand and ten. Okay. It's clear. It's easy, right? It's very easy if you can remember remember the pattern, or you can paraphrase it, the paraphrase the 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 title. But calm down. If you still doesn't not understand yet, I'll give you the template for make an introduction section. <coughs> for for example, I'm using chart. Provides the number of another example map mm, maps present information on or diagram expresses data on so. After you make the presentation type, the verb and the description, you just put what the what the chart is going to tell you about. Okay? Next is overview section. In this section we will write an overview. Okay, it's clear overview. Write an overview of what we will write about. <coughs> so like I said before, overview is like an abstract. So in here you are going to write the thing that going to write the thing that you are going to write <laughs> i mean in here you want you you will give the description about the thing that you are going to write okay the tips is start implementing the questions created at the beginning they, you, if you remember the fourth question i made before just start implement <clears throat> i'm use these two questions what goods had the highest expenditure in the UK in 2010 and which product had the least least spending. Like I said before, I will write a contrast between um, expenditure in UK and France. So in overall, uh, in, in overview, in, I'm sorry, in overview, I will uh, make some contrast so the readers will know at all. Uh, he are go he is going he going to make uh, uh, write a contrast between expenditures uh, in ex France and UK uh, goods expenditures in UK and France so uh, start writing an overview you want to make uh, you want to use a signal word 
for example in here overall the words overall if uh, we will give the reader oh here going to uh, describe something or or descripting something so the example that provide is provide uh, overall the UK spend more money on consumer goods uh, that France in the period given it's clear in here the France is the UK is spend more money on consumer goods uh, dominantly I mean here is the UK is higher than the France and here is also not in here but in here like three 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 goods it's like dominant and next is both the British and the France spends more of their money on cars here's for answering the number one whereas whereas the word the keyword whereas is uh, showing the contrast the least amount of money was spent on perfume in the UK compared to cameras in France furthermore the most significant difference in expenditure between the two countries was on cameras <coughs> So it's already answering all uh, the the question that I make before. Why well, I forgot to tell you when you want to make a paragraph, make sure the, uh, you will put the topic sentence. For example, in here the from overall uh, uh, until given is the topic sentence and the supporting details. And also the supporting details are divided by two the major supporting details and minor supporting details the major supporting details will strengthen 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 the main idea the main idea and the minor supporting details will strengthen the major details by telling uh, by provide some example like here both british and french was spend the most of their money on cars Whereas the whereas the least least amount of money was spent on perfume in the UK compared to ca to cameras in France. <clears throat> so, the the topic is about spend more money on consumer goods than France in period period given given. So, in here, in the second the next sentence will strengthen the first sentence. And like I said before, that's the major details and the minor details from here until here strengthen the major details by giving the example. Furthermore, the most significant differences in the expenditure between the two countries was on cameras. So it's more, it's like, it's more specific. Okay, the next slide is about the body paragraph first and second. Look all the data that provided starts answering the question you make before. You can see the question here and the answer in here. Start write the body paragraph using all the all the answer. So I will not tell you about in uh, speak about a lot of. I will not explain uh, more in here. Uh, let's just keep on to the next slide. Okay. In here, the question number one. What what goods had the highest expenditure on in the UK in 2010? It it is car, cars, and I write it exactly, uh, cars. In terms of cars, people in the UK spend about four hundred and fifty thousand pounds sterling. On this, as opposite to the French at four hundred and four hundred thousand pounds sterling. So it's clearly the cars is have a higher expenditure. Similarly, the British expenditure was higher on books than the French, around 400,000 and 300,000 pounds sterling, respectively. Like I said before, the word is not, uh, the, what I'm going to uh, look for is the highest expenditure, highest expenditure in the UK in 2010. In the UK expenditure, in the UK, Expenditure on cameras this over three hundred and fifty thousand. Counseling was over double that by of France, 
which was only 150,000 pounds sterling. <coughs> so it will answer the second question, which product had the least spending for beam and cameras? Uh, maybe you're just wondering where the camera is, you just put the put the everywhere the perfume you just put the cameras because I will explain I will give the contrast uh, in cameras at the second body paragula okay on the other hand the amount of money paid out out on the remaining goods was higher in the France that's the the statement the main topic that I will tell us above the hundred and fifty thousand Counseling was spent by the France on computers, which was slightly more than the British, who spent exactly two hundred and fifty thousand. Maybe in here I not. I'm not telling. Uh, I'm not asking the why, about the computers because. But I also put it because I have to. Uh, put every data that I get from the chart. <clears throat> Right here, they spent exactly three hundred and fifty thousand pounds sterling. Neither of the countries spent much on perfume, which accounted for two hundred thousand pounds sterling of expenditure in France, but under a hundred and fifty thousand in the UK. It's answering the number, the question number two, uh, number three, and number four. What was the expenditure on camera? What was expenditure on the perfume? So, I'm not using a conclusion because I already, on overall, uh, overall and conclusion is quite similar. So, but yeah, that's quite similar. So, if you are, and also like I said before, you if you want to put the conclusion, it is fine. But if you don't want to, it's also fine. So I think that's all for the class today, and please make sure. I want uh, I, I, I'll give you the assignment assignment for this meeting please take the screenshot for the uh, for the chart and make your own make your own <coughs> um, essay about the paragraph and please submit it on online learning and also I'll take attendance from there too so make sure you do your homework and then i think that's for class today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh